Buffalo's Common Council is considering a measure to get rid of those controversial school speed zone cameras in the city, but the mayor continues to support this program. So if push comes to shove here, what's going to happen next? Our Dave McKinley is asking the tough questions for us tonight. Mayor Brown says despite the call by some to end the use of the cameras, he's still a proponent of them. This as a resolution by University District Councilman Rashid Wyatt to get rid of the devices. He's undergoing review for language before being presented to the entire council. If lawmakers do end up voting to disband the program, the measure will land on the mayor's desk. So we asked him what his next move might be in that event. Are you prepared to veto it? I don't. I don't think they should uh, vote to disband. I know that. But let me say but this. Let's say they do. Are you prepared to strike the veto? Well, let me let me say this. Just a, just a couple of days ago on Bailey Avenue, a woman was struck and killed by a by a vehicle. Would you veto a measure passed by the council to get rid of the cameras? I'm hoping that the totality of the council actually looks at data and does the right thing. Uh, well, is there a reason you're not answering my question? I'm not going to talk about vetoing right now. Why not? I'm gonna, I'm, because I'm going to... At that moment, we were, believe it or not, interrupted by a heckler honking his horn from a passing car. When he got through after a minute, we resumed. We left it at, I'm not going to talk about veto. My question is, why not? Why not answer the question right now? Well, we want the council to look at the data. We want them to do the right thing. The data shows that people are slowing down. He claims data shows since the cameras went up and the city began fining motorists who exceeded the school zone speed limit by more than 10 miles per hour, compliance near schools is up 82%. It would take six members of the council to override a mayoral veto, and it appears Brown has at least one ally in all of this in South District Council Member Chris Scanlon. I think they're absolutely imperative to slowing people down driving through school zones. More about why he thinks the cameras should stay tonight at 6. Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News.